Hello, my friends, Liberty Garden, and just doing a video from the house today. And this is a response to Hoople's cat. He asked for a response to a video he recently did. And uh, here's my response to him. So there's been um, a lot of controversy about the COVID-19 vaccine, especially after the CDC came out and said that we all needed to go back to wearing the masks or kind of give guidelines to that regard. And that was in part due to a study they conducted where they realized that a lot of the people that uh, were getting infected were already vaccinated. So they, based on that, they said, well, let's, let's go back to wearing masks. But they also keep on insisting on getting vaccinated. And uh, this is the part where I have some issues with because I don't think the vaccine has been working all that great, right? So before they were saying that the vaccine would uh, would uh, help you not get COVID, and after this study, they started saying, well, you can still get COVID, but the vaccine will help you from getting you sick or ending, and the, I mean, the, it will help you prevent you from getting hospitalized or dying, minimize the risk, not, not fully prevent, but minimize your risk of doing that. And since then, I've been hearing a lot of people, you know, especially guys who work in hospitals, uh, doctors, etc. I have friends who are doctors or friends who have friends that are doctors, and they all say that, well, that, that, that mostly the people that are getting hospitalized or dying are are non-vaccinated people. But I haven't seen a study published to that regard. It's all anecdotal, right? So I am trying to find out data, right? And I can't find data, so I got to go dig, dig for it myself. And this is what I'm going to present to you right now. Uh, so the way that I see it, I'm just going to use Texas as an example, right? Because I follow Texas very closely because that's where I live. And... Uh, this is the world meters, and we can see here that uh, in August of last year, right around, uh, there we go, August 4th, August, uh, uh, we kind of peaked around 12,000 cases in August 4th, right? 12,000 cases or so, average daily new cases. This is when there, there was no vaccine. Then we kind of went in a lull. And then in the fall, started picking up again. And then we reached uh, the maximum cases of 27,000 or something like that in, in, the, in, in the middle of winter. Now, I think that this was the alpha variant, the one that was pretty deadly. And then we started seeing the numbers decline. And this also coincides with the vaccine, right? So a lot of people start saying, well, you know, the vaccine is working because as more people are getting vaccinated, the... Uh, numbers are declining. That makes sense. I mean, if the vaccine works, that, that this should be the expected uh, behavior uh, in, the, in the number of um, infected. And then along comes the summer, 4th of, 4th of July kicks in, and that's when it starts going up again. Boom, 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 Okay. So here we have yesterday, 15,699 cases. And this is in Texas where we are 44% fully vaccinated. This is from the Mayo Clinic. And we have 44% fully vaccinated, two jabs, or the Johnson & Johnson one jab. And we have 52% fully vaccinated. Now in Texas, there is a surplus of vaccines. Anybody who wants one can walk into a CVS, anywhere and get a jab just just like that just ask for it you get it you send the paperwork wham bam thank you ma'am you're out of there so getting access to a vaccine is not a problem it, it is free for anybody who wants it even people who live in the border they cross into the u.s get the vaccine for free go back okay so getting the vaccine is not an issue here so that, that's not a factor 
So this number that we see, 44%, that's been there around for three weeks now. Anybody who wanted the vaccine got it. Anybody who doesn't want it is not getting it. It's that's about as many people as, as that's about as many people uh, as will get vaccinated here in Texas. Okay. The other thing is that um, let's go back to the numbers. So we saw here there's uh, no vaccines in this area. August of last year, some cases, but there's a lot of deaths here. And we peaked here, and there were a lot of deaths here. Okay. Now here we have, we go down, there's a lot of cases, but little deaths, right? So vaccinated, this area here is vaccinated. Sorry, this area here is vaccinated. No, very few deaths, about one fifth of what we're seeing over here. Uh, and here's the deaths. We're gonna scroll down here, daily deaths here. So you see that at the peak in August, we had 295 deaths. And then in December, we had about four, four 500 deaths, 435. And right now, in October of this year, or in, in, in August, here, August was five, six, 78 deaths in August, in August 6th. So yesterday, there were 78 deaths recorded. So 78 out of 300. So let's say uh, about, what is it, uh, about one-fourth, one-fifth, one-fourth of the number of deaths from this time when there was no vaccine to this time when 44% of people are fully vaccinated. Yet we have a, a lot more cases. Look at the cases, 15,000 cases versus 11,000, 12,000, 13,000 cases, right? Now here in winter, there was a lot of deaths here in Texas as well, 400 and so, right? But right now we're seeing this is the Delta variant here. This was the Alpha variant, Alpha variant, I think. This is the Delta variant. So the Delta variant is proving to be very contagious, as we can see by the numbers here, 15,000 numbers, and it rapidly started growing like crazy. I started seeing these numbers in the 4th of July because I went to a festival. Nobody was wearing masks or anything, and I said, the, the numbers are going to go up. And sure enough, they started going up. Boom, 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 boom. Now, the deaths are going to trail always, right? But this has already been two weeks at least. And I did a, a video earlier about this, the numbers don't lie, it's called the video. And I believe Hoople said, well, wait for the numbers, right? Well, we're already kind of in the middle of uh, of uh, of August, and the numbers really haven't changed that much. Here's the numbers for July 1st. July, mm, there we go. God, if I can get this thing to move slowly. 33 and July 8th, and we're at 78. So double the numbers, a little more than double, right? Uh, but the cases have gone up from... <laughs> From about a thousand, you know, a thousand five hundred cases to fifteen thousand, right? So the increase in cases is completely disproportionate to the increase in deaths, right? So which tells me that this variant is not very lethal, although it's very contagious. Now, and to give you a point of reference, if you go out to the streets now here in Texas, at least in the, in the metroplex, you go out to the stores, anywhere, nobody's wearing a mask anymore. So, I mean, I would say that it used to be around this time here when the, there was a mask mandate, everybody was wearing masks. Uh, you would go to Costco, you would go to Walmart, everybody was wearing a mask. Here, the governor said there was no more, no more mandate, so nobody's wearing a mask at this point. Very few people are wearing a mask. And you can see the, the, the increase in cases as well. And I'm not saying the mask stops this or not. I'm just saying well, what is Right, there's an increase in cases, very few people are wearing masks because there's no more mandate. But the deaths are not there. So the so the all this propaganda about the virus that is super deadly and this and that, I, I don't see the numbers. Now I mean the medical, the nurses, the, the hoopals, anybody can say whatever the hell they want to say, but without numbers, it's just their opinion against mine, even though they may be in the medical field and I'm not. But numbers are numbers. So that's it. Now, this is the study that the CDC came out with. As you can see, it's the CDC. I'm not making shit up here. And the, here it is. This is this is key. Okay? So there was a 79% breakthrough in the study that the CDC said. Now, I've been saying that the vaccine hasn't worked for worth a crap for a long time because I saw this same numbers in the UK a couple of weeks back about three or four weeks back. 
and I made a video about it. Now, here, what's important about the study, I knew already about these numbers. I mean, that's not a, there's nothing new. What is important about the study here is this. Mm. Okay, yeah, this this CT, this CT value here. So it says um, uh, the cycle threshold, which is basically your viral load, to the, to the best of my knowledge. Uh, value in specimens from 127 vaccinated persons with breakthrough cases was similar, or were similar to those from 84 persons who were unvaccinated. So basically, <laughs> I mean, the viral loads on the vaccinated and the unvaccinated are the same. So all along we've been, we've been told that the vaccine is working, right? And how does a vaccine work? Well, it provides you some level of inoculation. Uh, and the older vaccines was some kind of virus that was introduced into your body and uh, your, 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 your body learned to combat or to fight it. And then when you got the, the, the real strong load of a, of a virus or a, a real virus, not a real virus, but, but like a full virus, I think the one they introduced to you, on you with the older vaccines is like some kind of virus that's going to have that or something like that. Again, biology is not my field. But uh, the way I understand it is that once you're inoculated, your body's reaction is to attack that virus when it comes in to prevent the spread. And we see here that the people who have been inoculated with this uh, vaccine are carrying the same viral load as non-vaccinated people. So how can you say that the vaccine is working one if you're carrying the same number of viruses? First, if, if you're getting infected, right? And second, not only are you getting infected, the virus is spreading through your body as if the same way as it spreads through through the body of people who are not vaccinated. So what this tells me, what this tells me is that if two people, one is vaccinated, one is not vaccinated, and then you have 79% of breakthroughs happen on vaccinated people, <laughs> even more than on the unvaccinated, <laughs> the, the vaccinated seem to be getting more sick than the unvaccinated. Then on, on top of that, they are, the, the virus is spreading just the same through their bodies as it is through the bodies of the non-vaccinated, okay? There were some people that were sick, pretty sick here, and they ended up in the hospital, I believe uh, it's further down here. I don't know, this is the study, you can kind of go look at it. Uh, I think there was four or five people who ended up very sick that were vaccinated. They don't say anything about the non-vaccinated going to the hospital, they just mentioned the, the vaccinated going to the hospital. So what all this tells me, oh, and also they, they mentioned here that they had some complications, some, they were they were basically had some other uh, sicknesses that caused them to get sick, or sicker with the virus, and ended up in the hospital. Um, what this tells me here, these numbers tell me the new cases. This tells me the one Delta is a very contagious, very sticky virus. Two, it tells me that the Delta is not being halted by the vaccine, and the number of deaths, which have remained relatively low, relative to the increase in Delta cases, at least in where I live, are not are not increasing. So this tells me that the Delta is nowhere near as deadly as the Alpha virus up here or here. So this whole thing about the Delta being super deadly and this and that, it, I don't see it in the numbers. I simply don't see it. I don't think this this 70 number here is going to get to this point. No, I, I really doubt it. Okay, so that's 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 my very unscientific conclusion. Just basically, look, just basically looking at two, two little graphs, okay, the new cases and the daily deaths here in Texas, and also the number of vaccinated, which happens to be forty four percent in Texas, fully vaccinated, and the breakthrough, which is seventy nine percent of the people on the CDC study got breakthrough infections. So what's what's the use of the, of the vaccine, I ask? If it's not preventing you from getting infected and it's not preventing the virus from spreading your body. The only reason people are not dropping dead like flies 
it's because the virus is not that deadly. The Delta, this Delta variant is not that dead, it's not that deadly. If it was this Alpha variant spreading like wildfire through through the population, <laughs> people would be dying at this same level over here. Uh, right here, they would be dying at this same levels here by now, and they're not. Okay, so the, the, that's what I can conclude. The the one the, the the vaccine is not working to prevent you from getting infected. Two, it's not working to prevent the viral load from spreading in your body once you're infected. And three, the Delta variant is not as deadly as the Alpha variant. So therefore, not too many people are dying. And that whole thing about only the non-vaccinated are ending up in hospitals and or dead, well, that remains to be proven because I have not seen any numbers to that effect. None, none official numbers. All I hear is anecdotes from doctors and nurses and friends of a friend and this and that. But I have yet to see any results published as to how many people are going to the hospital that are vax, non-vax, how many are walking out, how many are not walking out. So that's uh, my two cents contribution to the to the expanding of knowledge. <laughs> Thanks for listening.